Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain the first lab program of second PUC. Write a C++ program to find the frequency present of an element in an array. In this program, we have to find the frequency. Frequency is number of times an element present in a given array. So you are going to find how many number of times an element is present in a given array. This is your viva question also. Let us see the program. First two lines is your header file. Iostream.h is used for cout and cn. Konyo.h is used for getch and clr scr in your main function. So next comes the class. Here you can see the class declaration. So class space frequency. Frequency is a class name. Then comes the flower braces. Then private always the data members will be private int e of 10 e of 10 is your array n element count is your data members next comes the public under public section you are declaring member function so void read data void find frequency void display so this Three member function are declared inside the class. Closing flower braces and a semicolon represent end of the class. This is your first part of the program. Next comes the member function definition. Here you can see the read data. Read data is your first data member function inside your frequency class. So void frequency, frequency is the class name, then comes the scope resolution operator, that four dots is called as scope resolution operator, then it is read data. As you know, in an array, you need an nth element, nth element is total number of elements in your array. So first is, first cout statement tells you how many elements you need to enter inside the array, so you are going to declare a size for an array so n value you are going to enter if it is 5 you can store 5 elements inside an array so seen n seen is you are taking an input from the keyboard next comes the array elements total number of elements you need to enter inside an array so see out enter the elements so when it is more than one elements you are going to use a for loop so for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus each and every time whatever the value you enter it will be stored in a of i is if, if it is i value 0 a of 0 will be having whatever the element you are going to give if it is 1 a of 0 stores 1 so like that up to n term you are going to enter the value for array after, after entering the value for array next is which element frequency you want to find out so if you have given 1 2 2 2 and 3 and 4 so you are going to give 2 2 is your element here ele is 2 total number of times 2 is repeated in an array is 3 times so frequency is 3 to find a frequency we are going to use a logic in logical part is to find the frequency of an element inside an array so void frequency is a class name scope resolution operator then find frequency is member function so initially count will be zero next it is a for loop i starts from zero because array element starts from zero so for i is equal to 0, i less than n, n is 5, i plus plus, each and every time it increases by 1. So if element, element is 2, if 2 is equal to, that is double equal to e of i, i is 0, e of 0 is 1, whether 2 is equal to 1, not equal to 1, so count does not increases so again it goes back to the for loop and i will be increased by one now i value is one so if element element is two a of i is one so a of one we have two so two is equal to two 
now the count value will be increased by 1 so initially count value was 0 now it is increased by 1 so count value is 1 again it goes back to the for loop again i value will be increased then it will be compared with the array elements it will keep on repeating until the for loop end its loop by the end of the loop the count value increased to 3 so total number of times 2 is present in an array is 3 times now count value is 3 so now we need to display the count value next we are going to display the value so this is a class where you are going to display the value so if count is greater than 0 if it is greater than 0 then it tells an element is occurred so many times so you are going to write see out element element is 2 occurs so many number of times that is count count is 3 so 2 is occurred 3 times it will be displayed in case if count value is less than 0 then it comes to the else part and it prints element does not exist next we are going to see a void main function in this main function you are going to declare an object so inside the main you have frequency frequency is a class name space f is an object so frequency space f semicolon that is declaration of an object next clrsr clrsr clears the output screen f dot read data f is your object you are using dot operator to access read data so in read data whatever the elements is there it will be executed it will take the n value then it takes an array element then it will take an element to be search next it is next. find frequency in find frequency you know the logical part then it is display function so display function displays the count data next it is get ch get ch will show the output this is all about the first program so i hope you liked it if you liked it please hit a like subscribe my channel